In this video, I'll show you what I consider to be the very basic first steps for setting up Osmond on Android and iOS devices. I'm using versions 4.3. The most basic step, and the only one that's truly required, is to download one or more maps. That's done here on the iOS version, and here on the Android version. Once you do that, you can access them without a data connection. Osmond's library is worldwide. I'm in California, so I'll download the California map. And while we're here, I'll also download the World Overview Map. As its name implies, this map lets you zoom out to see a map of the world. When you zoom back in, the more detailed maps take over. Next, let's go to the Settings menu. First, I'm going to select some application profiles, each of which represents a mode of transportation. I walk, bicycle, and drive, so I'll enable those three. Up here, I can select which profile is the default, that is, the one I get when I first bring Osmond up. I'll choose walking. As you can see, each profile has its own settings. Here are a few to get you started. In general settings, map orientation determines whether the map is always north up or shows the direction you're traveling in as determined by your movement or the device's built-in compass. Note that I can apply this change to just the walking profile or to all profiles. Units of length can go between imperial and metric. Finally, you can configure the map style for the kind of navigation you're doing. That's found here. The default is the Osmond style. Other selections can show the same mapping data in very different ways. For off-road use, my two favorites are the off-road style and the touring style. And for driving, I sometimes use Light RS. But try them all and see which work for you. That's my basic setup list. You can see Osmond's own setup instructions, which are more extensive, from the Apps Help menu or by searching online for Osmond First Steps.